Hello guys, so finally we are going to have a look at the polynomial inter interpolation which is an application of solving a linear system, one of the 30 million you can imagine, right? So let's start by thinking that we have two points, right? Uh, that's actually right, sorry, P0 and P1. You can write a linear system of a uh, line going through it, basically like this, a1, 0 equal y0, 0 plus a1, x1, equal to y1, right? And I wrote it in this way, just because it's easier than to convert to a matrix form, right? So you might have seen this before, that's just basically the equation of a line, Nothing fancy, so basically you are constraining the line to go through those two points. That's what the system solves. And if you convert that into a linear system, sorry, in a matrix, then what you get is like 1, 1, then, sorry, ah, I can do it, x0, x1, Why? Oops. A zero A one equal to Y zero Y one. Right. So this is equivalent. If you multiply this out as we did before, you get the system, right? And you solve that, and you get the factor A zero A one, and you get your line. Sorry. Yes, your factor a zero one. You get your line passing through the points. You can extend this concept, right? There we go. To some extra point, p two, right? And you get the same extra concept plus a one x zero equal y zero, right? Let's write down this quickly, plus a1, x1, x2, a1, y2, right? So you extend the system, oops, sorry, I forgot, so you have three point, and you're going to use a polynomial uh, of degree 2, a2, x0 square, plus a2, x1 square, plus a2, x2 square, Right, it's just to equal zero, y one, y two, right? And again, you write it in matrix form, and you solve for it, and you get your 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 three factor for a polynomial. So the higher the number of points, the higher a polynomial you want to go through the points. Of course, the result is not going to be this nice, and we're going to see later why. But this is the general concept, right? And I have a demo here. here we go. So this is our example. We are passing through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points. And you can see is that we start to get quite a bit of overshooting, right? And the higher the degree the small change in points might trigger a big change in the polynomial, in the overshooting of the polynomial, right? So, usually when you start to have a lot of points, what you do, you just interpolate between few points in a patchwise ways, and so on. But that's the basic concept. So I want to, uh, I will stop here, and in the next final quick video, we're going to see the code in order to generate that. It's going to be really quick, but I just don't want to rush it and squeeze it inside a single video. But that's an application for uh, interpolating polynomial, which is really similar to how to create an RBF system, right? To balance an RBF system and so on. The concept is exactly the same. So that's it for this video, guys. Let's. See you in the next one, which should be the final one.